Capricorn, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading for February. Now, this is gonna be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Capricorn, in this reading, I'm gonna be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm gonna clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge here is the Four of Pentacles and what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Wands in reverse, okay? So your biggest challenge here is a lot to do with the Four of Pentacles. I feel like you're holding on to something really tightly. You're like, it's mine, this is what I want. Um, could be a person, could be an idea that you're holding on to. We're going to clarify this and get more information for you in a moment. Now, in the recent past Capricorn, you have the uh, Eight of Cups, the Four of Wands and the Seven of Swords. I feel like in the recent past, someone here was not confronting an issue, okay? I feel like the issue here that may have stemmed from someone here disconnecting or not being emotionally available has a lot to do with some sort of deception, some sort of lies. It's like somebody here in the recent past was just there to get what they needed and leave, you know, is what I'm getting here. And this could have been something that happened in a relationship, in a marriage, in a commitment here. Um, so we're gonna clarify that and get more information uh, for you in a moment. Now, in the present moment, Capricorn, you have the King of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Ten of Wands. I feel like there's a commitment that's coming to an end, okay? A marriage commitment that's coming to an end. It's been very, very difficult. You may be deciding to cut to um, end things with this person in the present moment, um, or you may be closing a cycle out with someone here. I feel like a marriage or a commitment, something within a marriage or a commitment is coming to an end, or an actual um, commitment you're in is coming to an end. We're going to find out when we clarify important message about your relationship here. Now in the near future, you have the eight of wands, the king of cups and the page of pentacles. So it looks like in the near future for many of you, um, there is going to be an offer of love. I do see an opportunity here. There's definitely a lot of communication that's coming in in the near future, a conversation or communication. So we're gonna clarify this and get more information in a moment. Now, what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the Nine of Wands, Page of Cups, the Magician, Wheel of Fortune, Seven of Pentacles, and the Sun in Reverse. Okay, so what you don't see coming is the fact that it looks like you're going to be giving up on something here. Okay, something here that you've invested a lot of your time, your energy into maybe even money, resources. It looks like it's, it, whenever I see the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, it's like money down the drain. It's like a waste of time, waste of energy, waste of an investment here. Um, and the reason why this may be happening is because there's a lack of light being shown here. There's a lack of light really, you know, being able to, to really show what's going on here okay there's like a missed opportunity here because someone here may have been manipulative or trying to manipulate a situation i just see you giving up on something here nine of wands in reverse okay um page of cups in reverse is like it, it's there's just not enough like you know forgiveness here there's not enough understanding here page of cups upright for me is like understanding it's like the, the new beginning of something here but it's in reverse so what this is telling me is is that something here is not part of your destiny it's not part of what you believe you thought it was going to be a part of your life um so i feel like you know the sun is in reverse there's been a lot of depression sadness related to the situation and the more you try to make this situation work again like i said in your last reading there was a lot of power Power struggles okay and you can only have so many power struggles for so long something here can only not work for so long until you say to yourself you know what I'm just gonna give up on this why do I keep trying to make something work here right um, I feel like you don't want to be in this place of feeling like you are um, I don't want to say you're scared but I'm getting an energy here with the nine of wands in reverse it's like when it's upright, it you know, it's like you're guarding yourself. And it's like you don't want to do that anymore. You don't want to be in this place of, of guarding yourself and always being in fear. And so I feel like there's something here that you thought was going to be great. You thought it was going to be amazing, but it doesn't turn out to be that way. And that's okay, okay? Because not everything in life is going to always work out. That's something that maybe you're learning and needing to accept. Of course, with Venus and Mercury retrograding, um, 
you know, in your sign, Venus is finally going to be going direct, but Mercury is still going to be retrograding, which is saying to me, there's still going to be breakdowns in communication at the, at the beginning, the first two weeks of February, there's still going to be something here that you need to learn. And I think one of the things that you're going to be learning is, is that when something doesn't work anymore, don't try to be a bull and try to force it. If it's not meant for you and it's not meant to be, then don't try to force the situation because all you're going to do is lead yourself into some form of depression and disappointment. Okay, so there's something here you need to realize um, that isn't over. It's not quite over, but you have the choice to put an end to it. If you start to realize that it's really not a part of your destiny, it's not really something that you're supposed to be doing. Okay, um, and of course, I can't make that decision for you. All I do is read the cards here. Um, <laughs> so you're going to have to decide if that's something that you want. But that's what I'm seeing in terms of what you don't see coming. Okay, so let's get into your reading Capricorn and uh, let's see what's going on for you. All right, let's clarify your challenge, which is the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so the Four of Pentacles is clarified by the Sun, the Chariot, and the Queen of Pentacles. So for many of you, I feel like your challenge here has a lot to do with the fact that a lot of you are holding on to an idea, a relationship, you're holding on to something here, and you really are determined to make it work, okay? You're like, it's gonna work, I believe in it, you're really confident in this, you wanna move forward. It's like you're offering something here and you're holding on to it. So your biggest challenge here is to ask yourself, is this something that you truly see yourself moving forward and doing? Is it really something that you really see yourself moving for? Or is it just an idea that you have? Okay, so whatever it is, I do see um, an opportunity here for you to maybe offer something to move forward. Um, but the question is, if you look at all of these cards, this person's alone. They're not with anybody. They're just alone. Queen of Pentacles alone. Chariot alone. Um, Four of Pentacles alone. So is this an idea that you have for yourself? Or is this an idea that you have for your relationship? Are you, you know, are you promoting this as something that you want for everyone else or just for yourself? That's your challenge, right? Because, you know, as much as you may want this and you may want to move forward, you may be holding on to the situation for all the wrong reasons. Okay. So those are important questions that you need to ask yourself. So that's what I'm seeing as your challenge. Now in the recent past, it looks like there was a lot of deception here. That's why someone chose to walk away from a connection or disconnect from it. Tell me more about the seven of swords in the recent past for Capricorn. So the seven of swords is clarified by the six of cups. You have the hangman and the seven of cups. So I feel like in the recent past, for many of you, there was a lot of confusion surrounding some sort of situation. Um, this may be the reason why there was a delay here. There was a block here with maybe something. Um, I feel like it's a specific person from your past or it could be a past life, okay? A past life experience that you had in the recent past with someone. I feel like there was a lack of action being taken in regards to some sort of confusing situation, which just led to some form of deception, okay? So because someone here wasn't clear, um, seven of cups, it led to some form of deception. It's not like you wanted it to become deceptive, but it's like it became deceptive because someone here wasn't clear, number one, and they weren't taking action in the past okay that's what i'm seeing so as a result of that either you walked away from this or your person emotionally disengaged from it tell me more about the eight of cups in the recent past for capricorn So the Eight of Cups is clarified by the Three of Cups. You have the Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. So remember I was saying what you don't see coming was the Seven of Cups in reverse. And look, it was, and look, it's upright in the recent past. So in the recent past, you invested a lot of energy, time, and effort into something, um, and you were celebrating it. You're like, yeah, this is going to be successful. It's going to be great. You could have been telling everybody about it. Like, yeah, this is going to be great. This is going to be amazing. But somebody here just disconnected. They're like, I don't want this. It's not something that I want. And again, it could have been somebody here walking away from a commitment that they were in with you, okay? Because of the deception, the confusion, the uncertainty here. Someone here may, fe may have felt like you weren't even emotionally invested into this. And there was so much confusion and a lack of action being taken. So again, 
this person just disengaged. There was just so much confusion, uncertainty, like so much stuff here that really affected the ability for this to move forward in the past, okay? Now, in the present moment, something here is coming to an end. It's a commitment that you're in, something here that you're dedicated to, it is coming to an end. Um, you don't want it to come to an end because you are continuously holding on to it, obviously here as your challenge, but you know, of course, things are gonna go the way that they need to go. So we're gonna find out why something here is finally coming to an end and what's the important message that you need to know in a moment. Um, but first i want to clarify the king of pentacles i feel the king of pentacles is you in the present moment um we're going to see what the important message is here for you capricorn what is the important message for capricorn when it comes to the king of pentacles in the present moment So the King of Pentacles in the present moment is clarified by the Ten of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups. So for many of you right now in the present moment, um, there is an opportunity for you to finally disconnect from the situation, okay? Um, I see you maybe choosing to disconnect from the situation, Capricorn, for a couple of reasons. The first reason that I'm seeing here is it's become too difficult for you. It's become so overburdening, and it's like it's not satisfying you anymore, okay? So as much as you may want to still hold on to the situation, you may need to call you may need you may be excuse me called in the present moment to recognize what is no longer working here why you may need to disconnect from the situation number one and has it become difficult for you and if it has is it worth it the question is is what you're going through right now worth it is this how your life is supposed to be? And if it's not, then you may need to walk away from it. And that may be the hardest thing for you to do because again, you have the four of pentacles here. And again, what is the four of pentacles? It's about somebody being very stingy. This is a stingy en energy. It's like, I'm gonna hold on to this because this is what I believe in and this is how things are gonna move forward. And it's like, but yeah, but you're alone. You're alone in this idea that you have. So it's not satisfying in the present moment. So you need to ask yourself, is it worth it? That's the biggest question that you need to ask yourself. Is it truly worth it? Or is it just going to come to an end? It's something you're committed to. It's something that you're, it could be a marriage. It could be a commitment. It could be an idea. Tell me more about the Hierophant in the present moment for Capricorn. What is this Hierophant all about? So the Hierophant is clarified by the Ace of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. The question that you need to ask yourself in the present moment is how can you have a new beginning that satisfies both you and this person? Because the Hierophant is about two people, right? When you look at this, it's two people coming together, okay? It doesn't have to be two people getting married. It could be two people in sync with one another. If you look up what the Hierophant is, it's about institutions. It's about being committed to something here. And that's why your challenge is the Four of Pentacles. So the question is, can you have a new beginning? Yes, you can. Can this new love that's in your life be something that leads to a commitment? Absolutely, but you need to get 100% clear on why you even want it. And if it's not satisfying you, then does it need to come to an end? Because there's something here about something not satisfying you anymore. And Spirit is saying, what is the point of living if you're living in a world or in your life where you're committed to something that isn't really serving yourself and everybody else, right? Because the Nine of Cups is about um, self-satisfaction. It's about narcissistic energy. So the question is, is are you just having this new beginning, um, and wanting to commit to the situation for yourself or is it for you and your person? Okay. And that's why something here may be coming to an end because you may be just involved in something here to please yourself, to benefit yourself. Okay. Or vice versa. Maybe your person's just involved, you know, involved in it just to benefit themselves. And that may be the reason why it's coming to an end. So I feel Capricorn, I have to be really honest with you. I feel like you have to ask yourself really important questions in the present moment in terms of what you're doing and why it may be coming to an end because you're still holding on to something here. Your biggest challenge here is you're not letting something go. And you know what I'm seeing here? I'm seeing like a tug of war. It's like, no, I want it. I want it. And it's like, a, and it's like, there needs to be some sort of clear understanding on why something's coming to an end, why someone here is not satisfied and what it's going to take to bring that satisfaction back. So why is the situation coming to an end for you? What is the important message here? So
So the Ten of Wands is clarified by the Tower. You have the Six of Wands and the Four of Cups. Something here that somebody here doesn't want. There's rejection here. Um, Four of Cups. This is a card of, nope, I don't want this. Nope, it's not for me. It's like rejection after rejection after rejection. And you believe that you're still going to be successful, but it's crumbling. Okay, Mercury conjunct Pluto in your sign is happening, right? As I record this, it's happening around that time. So as you move into February, okay, you have to start recognizing what is not working in your life. What no longer is serving you anymore? What's no longer serving the people or person that you're dealing with? And is it something here that you still believe is going to be successful, even though it's crumbling? Because a lot of you are ignoring this, okay? You see this person on the horse, they're like, do, 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 I'm successful. I'm going to be successful. And everything in the background's crumbling. This is Pluto, by the way and Pluto's in your sign. So you need to start closing things out that are not working for you anymore. Instead of holding on to this ideology that you have, sun and chariot about moving forward, you need to recognize why you're holding on to something. Is it worth it? Is it satisfying? And if it's not, how can you get it back to this place of being satisfying, not only just for yourself, but for the other person that you're with as well too? Because the Hierophant is about a commitment. It's about two people. It's not about one person or one situation, or it's about an institution, which means you know, people, people with an S, peoples, okay? Don't correct my English. <laughs> Anyways, let's talk about the near future. Now, in the near future, it looks like there is going to be an opportunity for you. It is a small offer here. Um, I do see love coming in for you, and I see a very important uh, conversation coming in as well, too. We're going to clarify that and get more information in a moment. But first, I want to clarify this opportunity that may be coming into your life in the near future with the Page of Pentacles. So the page of pentacles is clarified by the hermit, the five of cups and the four of pentacles. So in the near future, I'm really strongly getting you're still holding on to the situation. Okay. And this is where you have to be really careful because you need to really go within yourself in the near future and ask yourself again, why you're holding on to this. And a lot of you are ignoring it. And what's going to happen here is, is that the more you ignore the situation in the near future, there's going to be more sadness connected to it. Okay. And again, you see the five of cups is people. Remember I was saying people, it's not just one person. You may be thinking that this isn't going to affect, you know, other people, but it is going to affect other people. Right. And this is what you need to think about. So you're going to have an opportunity to identify why something here isn't going to work out. It looks like there's disappointment here in the near future because you're holding on to this idea that you have this idea. I don't know what idea it is, but you have some sort of like rigid idea here like i'm going to move forward like this it's going to be successful and this is what how it's going to be and it's like but why are you holding on to this it's just going to lead to sadness it's just going to lead to sadness you need to think about that hermit so that's why i feel like an important conversation is going to come in for you tell me more about the uh eight of wands what what is this important communication that's coming in for capricorn in the near future So the eight of wands is clarified by the two of pentacles. You have the empress and the moon. There's a decision that you're going to have to make here in the near future. And I don't think you see this decision coming. I think it's a very unexpected choice that you're going to have to make because there's communication coming in and something here has been hidden for a very long time. Okay. It hasn't been brought to the surface, but when this um, conversation happens, a decision is going to have to be made, even though you may be hiding something or not really being honest, or maybe your person's hiding something and not really being honest, a decision is going to have to be made. And once the decision's made, that's when this situation can move towards love because the King of Cups is someone who's super emotional. They want to offer love. They want to make, they want something here to work. Um, but a conversation needs to happen. And as a result of a conversation, a decision then therefore has to be made about it. Tell me more about the king of cups the king of cups is clarified by the eight of pentacles the wheel of fortune the ten of cups you will have an opportunity to um offer love and have love okay once you finally confront something here and i feel like what you're going to be confronting is this idea that you're holding on to is this idea something that is part of your destiny is it a part of your happiness is it a part of something here that you want to work on and if it is then you need to be ready to have that conversation because something here is going to change something major is going to change but it's going to lead to you working things out when you finally recognize and ask yourself again the important question why you're holding on to something and is it something worth holding on to okay so let's get some advice Advice for you what is the advice
Okay, so the advice for you is the Seven of Wands, the Strength, and the Eight of Swords. Your biggest piece of advice is not to allow yourself to be stuck in something. Okay, because I think again, and I'm going to go back to your challenge, your challenge is the four of pentacles. And I think this is a very big thing. A lot of you are holding on to something and all it's doing is it's creating resistance. It's creating this energy of being stuck in your mind. Something here is drying up. It's not working anymore. And that's what Mercury retrograde is trying to tell you. You keep trying to make something work here. That's just breaking down. It's breaking down more and more every single day and you're holding on to its strength, right? So your biggest challenge is to be honest with yourself. The biggest challenge here is to have the strength to identify what is causing resistance in your life. What is causing this energy of feeling like things are not abundant anymore? What is making you feel like you're you're stuck and you can't seem to get out of your mind in this situation? You have to be honest. You have to have courage. This is about having courage now. It's about not backing down from, you know, identifying what you're holding on to and is what you're holding on to detrimental to you? And if it is, how can you release yourself from the situation successfully, okay? So this is what I have for you, Capricorn. I hope this reading helped. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.